Civil servants may be contributing more to their pensions and receiving less in payouts in the coming years. On Friday, a government task force agreed on a bill that would require public servants to contribute 9% of their salaries to their pensions over the next five years, up from the current 7%. The rate used to calculate monthly payouts, however, would be lower to 1.7 percent from the current 1.9 over the next 20 years. Under the change, a public servant with 30 years of service and an average monthly salary of 2,800 U.S. dollars would contribute $55 more per month and receive about $160 less. The reforms to the civil servant pension program have been highly controversial because there is a disparity in the benefits for retired government workers and people under the national pension pro program. The task force will now submit the bill to the parliament with the hope of seeing it passed this month. Over on the bribery scandal, Korea's presidential chief of staff Lee byung -gi says he will resign if any of the recent bribery allegations against him are found to be true. This was in response to opposition lawmakers who called for him to step down at a National Assembly session today. He said just because his name was on the so-called Song Wan Jong list does not mean he accepted money. The list named eight people, all linked to the ruling Henry Party that Song claims to have bribed in recent years. The memo was found in Song's pocket after he committed suicide last month. Song also mentioned Yi in an interview with a local daily, Kyungyang Shinmun, which was released after his death. He has maintained that he's known Song for 30 years and they were close, but he never received any money from the late businessman.